When it comes to SEO, a lot of people think keyword research and the technical parts of your website and content, and those things do matter. They are they are big parts of SEO. That's I'm not saying they aren't, but when especially when it comes to our content, a lot of us are forgetting about how storytelling can help SEO. And that's what I want to talk about today. If you're new here, my name's Jess, and this channel is all about helping you create a more smooth and profitable online business. And today I want to talk about storytelling and SEO, because if we have a website, we want more traffic to our website. So more people see our services and products. And a lot of people are starting to focus more on SEO instead of paid ads. And storytelling can really help your SEO. And I think it's one factor that people are completely forgetting about because SEO feels very technical and storytelling is not. <laughs> so I know with storytelling that a lot of people are like, mm, but I'm not a storyteller. Like I'm not a great writer. I don't have stories, but I think we can all pull stories from our everyday lives. So I want to share a story that I posted a few years ago. So a few years ago, my husband and I were foster parents. We were fostering a five-year-old girl and one Saturday she wanted to go out and ride her bike around the neighborhood. So we took her outside and as we were going down the street, she's riding her bike, but she kept getting very distracted, even though not a lot was really happening in the neighborhood. But she would be like, oh, look, like a dog or what are you looking at? Or, you know, she's just looking around, talking, noticing everything. But every time she turned to look, she would also turn her handlebars <laughs> and she kept swerving and almost crashing. And she'd go up in the gutter. I think she went into a few yards. <laughs> um, and so I kept reminding her, like, just focus on what's ahead of you. Stay, like, look straight ahead. You will stop swerving and crashing if you just focus straight ahead. And I posted that and related it to business because as business owners, it's really easy to get distracted by like, ooh, what's this new platform, this new app? Uh, let me try this. And we get distracted, especially by what other people are doing. And so I was like, as business owners, we also need to stay focused on what's ahead. And a lot of people found that was a really good analogy. So very simple interaction I had on a random Saturday that then was turned into content. So here's one of the most important things I want you to remember about SEO. Google wants to give its users a good experience. So they will notice if people are spending more time on your website. If they are searching something, your website comes up, they click and they're reading longer, they're staying on your site, they're clicking around. Maybe they're even engaging by leaving comments or sharing it on social media or anything like that. They are going to notice and that tells them this is good, valuable content. They don't want to send people to a website that everyone's leaving within 0.2 seconds because it loads slow, it's the wrong information, like whatever it is, whatever is causing all these people to leave. So when you keep your people on your site longer, that is a good signal to Google. So creating this engaging content is going to help your SEO. Now, of course, yes, keywords still matter, site speed still matters, etc. It's not like storytelling is going to rule all, <laughs> but it is another strategy you can use to help your SEO. So just a few tips for you if you are new to storytelling or maybe you feel like, well, I occasionally use it, but I feel kind of stuck. Take inspiration from your own world. Uh, you could even create like a journal or a notebook that maybe at the end of every workday, you write something down like, what did I learn today? What did I take away from today? Were there any funny interactions, frustrating interactions? Um, did you see something when you were interacting with another business that you're like, oh, that could be a good piece of content that I could relate to customer service, customer experience, sales, communication, whatever it is. Take that inspiration and keep it in a notebook <laughs> for a later date. Maybe it's not something you write in a blog post 
this next week, but two months from now. Um, that's a good place to start. If you can, sometimes images can be really helpful in storytelling. Obviously, in my case, like I couldn't use the pictures of my foster daughter. Um, so I think I used maybe just like an image of a bike or our neighborhood or something like that. Um, but you can use an image if it's something like, hey, I went on a trip recently and you use that. It just helps add more visual interest to the story and helps people stay engaged. Um, so that's something you want to consider with your storytelling. And most importantly, make sure the story relates to the message. <laughs> like my story with our foster daughter and the bike riding, like probably wouldn't make sense if then I transitioned into sales <laughs> or something else. Like it really resonated with like, stay focused as a business owner, not, hey, I'm gonna tell you a quick story from this weekend and then awkwardly segue into <laughs> talking about sales or something else. Like you really want it to obviously relate to whatever the post is about. If you want more help with your SEO, I'll put a link down to my services below in the video description so you can check that out. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.